this next focus lesson is going to simply get into um, fractions and making sure we know how to divide fractions. I think we talked about in our review qu uh, quiz how to add fractions where you need a common denominator. Uh, I just showed you a little bit about multiplying with fractions which is top times top, bottom times bottom. This time here we're going to talk about dividing by fractions and I think that should cover all the uh, things that we need to know with fractions so far. It says uh, find the quotient simplify if necessary. So this gives me negative 5 divided by negative 5 thirds and I haven't seen this before so I'm going to look at problem 4. It says what is the value of x over y when x is negative 3 fourths and y is negative 2 thirds and it tells me here rewrite the expression x over y equals x divided by y. That's kinda like what we just saw earlier when when we did our division uh, so the first thing they did is rewrite it as a division problem with a true division sign. I think we can do that. It says now substitute. We did that before when we were doing uh, order of operations. So substitute negative three-fourths for x divided by substitute negative two-thirds for y. Third thing it said is multiply by the reciprocal. So I still see three-fourths here. I see it. They changed the division and multiplication. Oh, and they also flipped the fraction over and then after that it looks like they went 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 2 is 8, and 2 negatives makes that positive. So to me, it looks to me as if they kept the first one the same. They changed the sign into multiplication and they flipped the uh, fraction in order to do what they need to do this is a phrase that I typically teach my students whenever or not just me but a lot of teachers typically teach their students uh, whenever it comes down to dividing keep change flip it's a phrase that you can put in your notes make sure you got this because what it's telling you to do is keep the first fraction the same change the division and the multiplication because we really don't know how to divide fractions and then flip the second fraction so that your multiplication is official so looking at this 5 divided by negative 5 thirds I'm sorry, negative 5 divided by negative 5 thirds would be written as using keep change flip is going to be negative 5, change this to be multiplication, and flip this to be negative 3 over 5. Now, if you don't know the rule about taking the whole number to the top, we can simply rewrite this as a fraction, which means we rewrite it as negative 5 over 1 times negative 3 over 5. Now we multiply. 5 times 3 is 15. 1 times 5 is 5. This turns into a 3. And going back to our question, we've got two negatives, which means that would make it negative and that would flip it over back to positive. Or you can think the signs are the same. And if the signs are the same, then it is positive 3, which is your answer here. So keep in mind keep the first one the same, change the sign, flip the fraction. That's whenever you see division. Multiplication, you don't need to do anything at all but multiply. But what we are doing here is we are forcing this to be a division question by keeping the first number, changing the sign, and flipping the second fraction. So here we have negative 12 over 13 divided by 12 over 13. Again, we don't know, and this whatever what I think whenever I do this, I, we don't know how to divide fractions, but we do know how to multiply fractions. So we keep, change, flip, which means keep this one the same, change this to be multiplication, and flip this to be 13 over 12. Now that we have our answer, 12 times 13 is 156 over, well 13 times 12 should be the same as 12 times 13 which is 156. There's only one negative so if you're talking about the coin, one negative means the coin flips once making it negative or you could say the signs are different and so it should be negative and then in the end 156 divided by 156 any number over itself is going to be 1 so your answer there would be negative 1. looks to me like 45 is similar to what we saw in our note there. It gives us, uh, they want to find the value of x over y. And in 45 it tells me that x is negative 5 sixths and that y is negative 3 fifths. So 
I remember in these notes that the first thing they did was rewrote as a division problem, which is what we're going to do. So we're going to write x divided by y and then substitute. So x equals negative 5 over 6 divided by y, which is negative 3 over 5. And then we work this out the same way we did before. Here we keep the negative 5, 6 the same because we keep change flip. Uh, so negative 5 over 6, change that, flip this one to negative 5 thirds, multiply. 5 times 5 is 25, 6 times 3 is 18. Two signs are both negative, and remember same means that it should be positive, or again you can think of flipping that coin twice and it would be heads all over again, which means that it works out just fine. And 47 gives me the same thing. They want the value of x over y, which I will turn to x divided by y. Based off of this question on 47, they give me negative 3 eighths and negative, I'm sorry, it's not negative 3 eighths. It is positive 3 eighths and positive 3 fourths, just like this one, I'm sorry, was a positive 3 fifths, but we'll just leave that in there the way it was. Uh, my printer must have just not printed that right, but uh, 3 eighths and 3 fourths are your two numbers there. So let's look at this and see that this is uh, now going to be 3 over 8 divided by 3 over 4. This is a division, so we keep change flip, so we keep the 3 eighths the same. Change that to multiplication and flip this one over. We then, because this is multiplication, multiply straight across, we get 12 on the top. We get 24 on the bottom. There are no negatives, which means that's just our answer. And it would be positive, but we cannot stop there because 12 and 24 can both be, well, they're both even. I know that much, so I can at least divide them by 2. These are still even, so I can divide them by 2 again. 3 over 6. And these are both, well, 3 and 6 can both be divided by 3 giving me the answer of one half. In the end it does not matter how you get here whether you saw that you could divide by 12 whether you saw you could divide them both by 4, 12 divided by 4 is 3, 24 divided by 4 is 6 or whether you saw that you could divide them by 6 or anything else the main thing is that you get down to uh, one half in the end before you stop otherwise I have to mark you wrong on your quiz this week so get some practice on that and ask your questions as you need to